Are you among those living from paycheck to paycheck? No matter how much you earn, do not allow your expenses to rise to the point where it consumes all your income. As Dave Ramsey often puts it, avoid thinking, I can afford that monthly payment. It might seem impossible, but you will learn how to achieve it in this video. Payday is an exciting time for those who haven't spent it all before it comes. Do your best to live by paying with cash. Don't steal from your future self by spending your future earnings. If you use a credit card, always pay the whole balance every month. If you can't plan or discipline yourself to keep credit card purchases at a level you can pay in full at the end of the billing cycle or use a debit card instead. The easiest way to organize these is to draft a budget which will help you break down all your expenses and make it easy to plan. When you do a written budget, usually you feel like you got a raise because you're like, where is all this money going? You're going to discover that you're wasting money. You're going to discover that money's going to disorganization and so on. Feeling lost about where to begin with budgeting? Dave Ramsey's recommended household budget percentages breaks everything into categories, giving you precise info and tips to begin your budgeting journey. These percentages are all based on your income, after taxes. Dave Ramsey's budgeting method is renowned for its detailed approach. It lays out clear categories for your spending and recommends specific allocations for each. According to Ramsey, there are 11 main categories to consider, each with its explanation and associated costs. Let's go into each category to see how they can help you manage your finances effectively. Giving, 10%. There isn't any set rule on how much you should give, except for what traditional and religious customs dictate. For instance, many Christians give a tenth of their income, known as tithing. However, giving is a universal aspect of being human. So it's essential to include it in your planning, whether driven by religious beliefs or a desire to support charitable causes. In many ways, giving is an inevitable part of life that we should consider and plan for. Saving 10% Saving is the money you don't spend immediately or choose to set aside for future use. In economic terms, saving is what's left of your income after you've covered your expenses and paid taxes. It's an income that you're not using for immediate purchases. The decision to save is influenced by factors like interest rates, which can impact how much people choose to save over time. In personal finance, saving involves keeping money aside for future use, much like preserving it in its original form. People typically save by depositing money into accounts that earn interest, such as savings accounts, to build an emergency fund or save for big purchases like a car, house, or vacation. Saving methods can include contributing to a pension account, keeping funds in a deposit account, or investing in cash or investment funds. These strategies help individuals prepare for future expenses and financial goals. Saving also entails reducing expenses, like recurring bills and unnecessary purchases. In personal finance, saving often involves opting for low-risk ways to preserve money, such as deposit accounts, instead of higher-risk investments. While saving focuses on protecting your money, investing carries more risk and the potential for higher returns. It's all about balancing security and growth based on your financial goals and risk tolerance. Food 10 to 15%. Food is any substance consumed to nourish the body, maintain health, provide energy, and support growth. However, while food is essential, it shouldn't dominate an excessive portion of your budget. Balancing your food expenses is essential to meet your nutritional needs without overspending. Utilities 5 to 10%. Whether it's covering electricity bills, gas, transportation, sewage, or digital TV and broadband packages, one thing is sure, these expenses are essential. It's important to note that these costs can fluctuate throughout the year, impacting your budget. Being mindful of these fluctuations will help you better plan and manage your finances effectively. Housing 25% Whether owned, rented, or mortgaged, housing encompasses the structures and spaces used to shelter individuals. For those who aren't homeowners, monthly housing costs should remain below half of their take-home income. However, homeowners should remember additional expenses such as taxes, dues, and other hidden fees associated with owning a home, which shouldn't be overlooked. 
Transportation 10% Transportation refers to any mechanism or device to transfer items, individuals, or groups from one place to another. Typical forms of transportation include planes, trains, automobiles, ships, and two-wheel devices like bicycles or motorcycles. These modes of transportation play a vital role in facilitating movement and connectivity within and between communities. Transportation costs encompass fuel and maintenance for privately owned vehicles, including cars and motorcycles, and fares for public transportation used to commute and conduct daily activities. Dave Ramsey recommends allocating 10% of your income for transportation, but it's important to note that these costs can fluctuate due to policy changes and economic conditions. Being prepared for potential fluctuations will help you manage your transportation expenses effectively. Health 5 to 10%. Incurring health expenses is unavoidable because you can't predict when illness or disease will strike. This uncertainty makes it challenging to determine how much to budget for health-related issues. However, setting aside funds for unforeseen health circumstances and medical bills your health insurance may not cover is essential. Having a financial cushion for unexpected health care costs can provide peace of mind and help you confidently navigate challenging situations. Insurance 10 to 25%. Insurance serves as a safeguard against financial loss by providing protection or reimbursement. It's a vital tool for managing risk. Many individuals have a portion of their take-home pay deducted to cover subsidized health insurance and other forms of insurance. However, it's essential to consider other types of protection, including life insurance, automobile insurance, home insurance, and coverage for general disasters. These various forms of insurance provide additional layers of financial security and peace of mind against unforeseen circumstances. Recreation 5 to 10% While trying to save and do all the great things with money, do not neglect the recreation aspect of your life. Humans were not created to be in isolation. So, to be more fulfilled and happy, you should engage in fun activities. It might cost you money, so you should plan for it. Recreation doesn't have to be something huge all the time. It could be as simple as seeing a movie or attending concerts. Personal spending 5 to 10 percent. We often get the urge to spend on ourselves and sometimes it is even a necessity. Examples of personal spending include dining out, shopping, partying, and so on. This category covers all the non-essential expenses that we might have. For anyone who wants to start saving extra, it is also the best place to start cutting down. Miscellaneous 5 to 10%. Miscellaneous expenses cover those that you do not plan for, like impulsive buying. Although it is not advisable, it is safe to have some money set aside for this purpose because it can put you in debt. What are you waiting for? Start drafting your budget today. Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.